Hi everyone, long time no see. I know I've been absent since September, so I decided to come back with a rather special video. I think it's something that some of you may have been waiting for, not really sure. <laughs> but early last year, I think, I, I made uh, an uke uke bag collection and I mentioned there that I would also show the bags that I found abroad or purchased abroad. So these are all vintage bags from the 1960s to the 1990s, I think is the latest decade, I think, I'm not really sure. And I won't really be talking too much about the specifics of each bag, uh, just because I don't really know the history behind each and every bag, so I'm just gonna do a kind of show and tell and maybe let you know how I style the bag or how or when I wear the bag and none of these are designer pieces if you're interested to see my vintage designer bags I could probably consider that I'm um, just leave a comment down below but I think this is gonna be a pretty interesting video on its own um, cleaning I know some of you are gonna ask well, these bags are mostly vinyl and leather, so they're very easy to maintain. None of them smell. They all smell pretty good. <laughs> so I, I've done nothing to these bags, um, aside from maybe a little wipe here and there. Um, if it's leather, I use the leather cleaner. If it's vinyl, I'll just use a damp cloth. Um, the insides, I get them pretty clean, but if they're dirty, I'm most likely just gonna vacuum it and I'm good to go. I'm not entirely fussy about my bags because I'm always on the go and I'm always rolling around somewhere so they're bound to get dirty eventually. Uh, all my bags get used and a little abused <laughs> so so yeah I'm just not too precious with them. I mean I love them all I'm just not too like yeah not too precious with them. And uh, for those of you who just happened to click on this video, I'm sorry for not introducing myself earlier. My name is Shira, and I'm a fashion and advertising or commercial photographer here in Manila, Philippines. And all, if not most of my videos, revolve around uh, ukay ukay. I used to do ukay ukay hauls when I used to ukay ukay. Um, my thrift finds, uh, how I um, style my vintage clothes and just my love for secondhand and old things in general. So if you're into those sorts of things, um, I hope you stay and subscribe. If you're interested to see how I use my thrifted finds, um, you can visit my social media accounts that I'm gonna be putting over here and also down below um, just so you have a better idea of why I thrift so much. I know it seems like a lot of things but I really do use them for my photo shoots and stuff so yeah again if you're into thrifting and lots of colors and prints um, I, I really do hope that you enjoy my channel. I think I'm gonna start with the biggest bags first and what shall I go with? Let's go with something fun and colorful. So I'm going to start with this bag, and this one is from the 1960s, I think. I'm going to say I think after each bag because I bought these years ago, and uh, while their descriptions are still somewhere in my eBay, on my eBay account, um, sometimes you can't really access things from three or four years ago as easily, so I'm just going to say I think after each bag. And this one you can fit an actual um, badminton or tennis racket in because I have some of my Grammy's old rackets and they fit in here. It's really cute. I love the material. This can get rained on, it can get wet, and you can just wipe things off. And it's really, really roomy. Uh, should I open it? <laughs> so uh, it's really big inside. And I usually bring this when I need to bring my laptop and my water jug. Um, I can also stuff a lot of clothes in here when I need an extra change, or for example, if my shoot's gonna take um, like 18 hours or something, if I want to bring an extra change of clothes, I can fit here. I can even bring food in here. It's just a great all-around bag that makes a huge statement, and um, it won't get lost in the sea of black camera and equipment bags so if it's gonna be like a full production if there are a lot of um, camera bags and there are like lots of crew um, this is the bag uh, I usually bring so I can spot it from another studio away <laughs> and another bag 
that kind of serves the same purpose is this. This is one of my favorite vintage bags just because of how um, versatile it is and how basic it looks. Well, basic but classic. Like, you know it's a vintage bag and you know it has so much character. This is a bone color, so it's really great. Um, it goes with practically any outfit. Uh, when I shoot, by the way, I'm always trying to match the set. So if like the set is pink and purple, I'm probably gonna wear something pastel. So whatever I wear, this can usually go with it. Even though I just put my laptop and uh, water in here, I just like doing that. I like connecting the dots. I always like to have everything um, not exactly cohesive, but I try to think of even just yeah, those things that don't make sense to other people. Uh, just in my head, it makes sense to bring a matching bag. And this is very, very roomy. I think it's roomier than the first bag I showed um, because of its shape, as you can see. This is ginormous. It's basically the size of me, <laughs> like this. Um, it has two pockets, like one here and one here. And inside is really pretty. It has a really nice um, design. Or the fabric or the lining has a nice fabric. Can I show you? Can you see that? There. And this is by Samsonite. This is the Silhouette 2. I love Samsonite bags. Um, you can actually find these things for pretty good prices. They range from like $25 to $60. Of course, it can go up depending on the style of the bag and also the condition of the bag. It's really the shipping costs. That kind of kill you. Also the sales taxes, um, because I, since I buy most of these in the states or from the states, um, I have them sent to my mom who lives in California, and I actually wait um, a year and a half to get my stuff uh, because she sends me a box, and it takes me a while to fill up that box. So when the box does arrive three months after she sends it, I have no idea what's in there. So opening the box is always like Christmas morning. Like I usually completely forget what I had bought. So <laughs> um, that's why I think I'm kind of attached to these bags because I searched for them and I waited so long for them. And well, when they finally come, I just, I don't know, I, I feel, <laughs> I just feel so happy that they're finally in my hands. And I really just appreciate um, how they've been taken care of th throughout the years and I always promise them that I'm gonna take good care of them as well so yeah that's the story of the Samsonite bag I'm gonna show you another Samsonite bag and this one has the look of leather this resembles a bowler bag from there I think. Um, but this one is also roomy you just kind of have to plan how you're gonna pack things because it's really long. There, it's that size. So it's my head until my like my waist, it's pretty big. And this is vinyl, again very easy to clean with a damp cloth. And there's the Samsonite logo plate over here. Sorry, over there. Um, there are no pockets inside, but what I love about this bag is that it's really structured and it has a really really hard base. Uh, let me tap it for you so you see how hard it is. Hold on. See? <laughs> so I'm not really worried about storing this bag because it can take care of itself. It also has feet and that's another plus. A similar bag, um, although it's a little smaller, is this one. So I love green. A lot of my outfits as of the last two years um, have been peppered with green. It started with my green velvet pants, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna link a video with my green velvet pants. It's, I think it's in my um, top ukai finds under 25 pesos video. I'm gonna link it up here and also down below. I just love green. It makes me so happy. And this is a nice color combination. So it's an apple green and a pure white. And this also has pockets in front and um, on the back. And this bag uh, was made by Wilson, so the sports brand, they make balls. I'm sure you're familiar with the brand Wilson. And it's really clean inside. I like to keep um, bubble wrap or just something to help the bags keep their shape. Although this is pretty structured, like it's really tough, like you can't even... <laughs> 
can't even push it. Um, so I love this bag also. It fits my laptop, my food, and that's really all the reason why I bring big bags because I have so many hard drives and I have cords and I have chargers that don't fit in my regular camera bag since that is section for specific things. So I always like bringing my statement bag. <laughs> statement bag, that's a weird word. I just like bringing my fun bag is what I'm trying to say. So there's that. Um, I think I got that off eBay. Yeah, eBay states. Um, this is another vinyl bag. Very fun. I used this very recently. I finally went back to Makati Square after a year and a half. I just go on and on about how I have not been to the Ukais yet. And I finally went two weeks ago. And this was the bag that I brought. Um, I like having a crossbody bag when I go to Upe Ukais, just so I have my hands free to dig. And this has a nice um, feature because the zipper is... Oh, is it here? No, it's over here. Um, because the zipper is kind of concealed, so you don't really know that there's a pocket inside, and I can keep my phone in here. And inside, well, I think I got this bag for cheap because it's not in pristine condition, like the inside is stained, but it's pretty clean, like it smells good. Um, it's just not like aesthetically perfect if you look inside, um, but I really, really don't mind. Wait, that's what it looks like. Um, I, I don't mind, I've vacuumed it, um, I've sprayed like Lysol inside, not outside, just inside, and I wiped it down and it's a great bag that you can't miss. Like you can see me walking from far away because the stripes are so bright. I'm gonna try to take this big bag um, out here. So this one actually serves as decoration on the second floor landing of the house along with like lots of my vintage displays just because of the font and the color. I love this white piping. It's just that retro look that I love. It says Shackley Distributor. Um, I also got this pretty cheap. I think it was under $20. Um, again, it's the shipping that really burns holes in your pockets, but this was super worth it. It's a really structured case. It's, it's more like a case. It's not really a bag, but I just put my laptop in here. Um, that's why I buy big bags. I, my laptop has to fit. Um, and this one has one pocket here. And let me close it so I can show you the inside properly. So it has two turn locks. I love that sound. And just open it. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to alter these pants. Here. So it's basically a box. It's hard. Uh, I don't think it's cardboard. It looks like cardboard, but it's um, it's more water resistant than cardboard. I just can't remember what material that's called, but it's very spacious. I also tried researching Shackley, but I couldn't find much information about it. I just feel like salesmen would have brought this around back in the 60s, um, full of products that they went door to door with. Um, yeah. <laughs> like imagining stories like that when I buy my things. Another big bag is this one. So I found this um, suitcase in the Van Buren swap meet in California and I got this for under $20 as well which was a really good buy I think because when we went to LA the week after I saw almost the same case in um, in a vintage store and it was around $75 so I think I got a really good deal on this bag. Um, I usually bring this when I have talks or presentations. Uh, again, my laptop fits in here and I like to put documents in here. Um, what else do I put in here? It's just really comforting to look at when I'm giving a talk and then I see this happy suitcase smiling back at me. And um, it's a conversation piece. Uh, there are times when I'm shy, so I think my clothes tend to speak for me. And this is one of um, the items that does a lot of the happy talking for me. It's just so bright and cute and fun. Um, I'm not going to show you how to open this thing because uh, it's... It's kind of difficult to be honest. There's only one zipper, so whenever I use this, I have to put it on on a surface 
just to make sure nothing falls out but i love it uh, i just have to be careful not to spill anything because it's made of fabric so this is a bag i will take care of for a long time that here we are going at a good pace um, i'm going to show you another big bag we're getting smaller and smaller so um, it should be easier to describe these things this one is leather so it's a lot heavier than the other bags i just showed it, it doesn't feel like much now but the minute you start putting things inside you're really going to feel the weight on your shoulder uh, you can carry it um, by its two handles and you can also carry it crossbody that's what hurts actually when it's full and then it's crossbody um, i also put a felt organizer inside there are actually a lot of compartments in it so it has a pocket here and it has these slots and it also has a key holder but i still like um, putting a structured organizer inside um, i yeah i love organizers <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you love organizers as well and then i usually just keep my phone in here big enough pocket for my I am now using the P30 Pro and the P40 Pro from Huawei and they both fit in here so this is a great great bag it reminds me a lot of the Samsonite bags um, I was also eyeing a Samsonite uh, case an overnighter just like this but in this color um, it just didn't did I buy it no I don't think I bought it <laughs> I held back um, I'm gonna go to backpacks now I only have two backpacks and this is a rather special find. Now, if you have seen any of my past videos or if you're like familiar or if you've seen any of my photos at all, you know I'm kind of a fan of Doc Martens. I have a Doc Martens collection from 2018 that I'm gonna link up here. And this is my first ever uh, Doc Martens bag. This is all leather, again, a heavy bag when you put stuff inside but i have not used this bag yet um it it's it's clean but it has a smell um and it's not like closet smell or like a smell of being stored for a long time i think um someone took a cleaner and it just didn't sit right with the leather so it, it smells kind of funny and i don't think i can use it yet just yet um, i think i'm gonna be very distracted by the smell so this will be my next project bag i'm gonna try to make it smell all nice and clean and leathery but i can't wait to use this bag As you can see the buckles there and it's spacious with this drawstring and this front pocket and the colors are just so pretty um i'm gonna wear this with my brown docks or like my wingtip brogues um, another backpack, well this is a convertible bag and this one my Grammy brought back from Italy for me back in, what year was that? I think it was in high school or college, first year college maybe, um, but she usually gives me perfume for my birthday or for special occasions but when she went to Italy she said there are just so many nice bags and she got me this and I think that's just been ingrained in my memory ever since um, good bags Italy so ever since college that's what's been in my head so whenever I buy bags they always have to be I mean as much as possible made in Italy because um, yeah I think it's just the memory of my 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 Grammy and I when I talk to her I always say that I still use this bag I brought this abroad with me it's great for traveling around the city because you can wear it as a crossbody almost um, I wear this as a sling bag it has lots of pockets um, it has one over here and then you slide this and then there's a compartment over here and then there's also one at the back I think I used this in, who was I? In Melbourne. Um, if I'm correct, I'm going to be inserting some photos of me wearing this bag, but this was great for my um, like transportation cards. And then at the back, I put lip balm because I think we went there winter, so it was like really, really cold and my lips were all dry. So I had all sorts of like conditioning things back here. And this reminds me a lot of the Loewe puzzle bag. Um, yeah. That, that's a really nice bag, but uh, this does remind me a lot of it just because of these flaps or how the pockets are placed. Um, yeah, that's a, another topic. 
nice bags to own someday. And then um, a similar shape and another one from my childhood or early teenage years is this bag. I don't recall where this was bought, um, most likely in LA. It's another vinyl bag and I call this my kidney bean bag. Sometimes I call it my platelet bag. But um, I don't actually use this anymore. I almost sold it during one of our garage sales but realized uh, it's such um, a good memory. I used to carry like weird bags when I was younger and this is the only one left among them, I think. And yeah, it's still in good shape. If I wanted to use it, I could still use it. It's like a giant wristlet. Um, very Y2K, although I got this earlier than the year 2000, and it's a simple bag. There's like nothing inside, like no pockets, no slots. It's just a, it's just a case. But for a nine-year-old, um, this was already like a big, sizable bag for like my poly pockets and things. I don't think a poly pocket would have fit here, but like maybe my trivia book or candy, and then. Hmm, what else do we have? I think we're getting smaller and smaller. I'm gonna show one more kind of utility bag and this one um, is again leather so it's similar to the the blue bag and this is great when you're just wearing um, plain colors. A lot of my outfits are printed and colorful and loud and I wear lots of retro patterns but if I'm wearing something plain like maybe a burgundy or dark blue navy top I would most likely reach for this bag. Uh, it's heavy because it's leather and I just love the patchwork details. It's a mini duffel but it can hold so much. You can open it quite wide because it has two zippers. And I'm going to show you the insides because um, I just like how it was stitched. So it's suede inside. And I, I love this quality. Um, I also have a lot of dresses from the 1970s and they have that similar um, make. So you're really just going to see the cloth and like the stitching. Um, it, it has a homemade rustic feel that I really like. And then you can also wear this crossbody. Um, it has the tap. It has this detachable strap, and then it has pockets on each side. Um, a pocket in front, and also a pocket at the back. Very very useful bag, and it holds so much more than it looks like it can. Yeah, this is um. When you fill this up, it becomes like a barrel. It's huge. So I really like this bag. I got that off um, eBay as well. Now, this bag I found in a swap meet in Perth. Uh, if you have not seen my Perth thrift haul, um, I hope you can go watch it. That has got to be one of my favorite thrift hauls ever. I found lots of vintage things there, um, including this little case. So this is not actually a bag. Uh, this was used to hold a twisty exercise thing. Um, this was two Australian dollars and it came with a twisty thing, but we just threw that away. I don't think it was functional anymore, or I think it still worked, but um, everything was falling apart, and I just really wanted the case. I thought it would make a good, um, like, errands bag, so I think I usually wear this when I go to HMR. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of HMR, and it has this little pocket here where I just keep the parking ticket, and then it's nothing inside. It's it was pretty filthy when I when I got it. Um, if you watch my Perth haul video, uh, it was under a lot of other things, and it it looked like it had been kept in a garage for decades. So it was just <laughs> I had to do a lot of cleaning for this bag, and it's still kind of dirty, as you can see. But I do enjoy carrying it around. It's very light, and I love the look of it. It looks like a a ball. Like a volleyball. Um, speaking of balls, speaking of balls. Um, so this one is a leather bag that says San Francisco 49ers. I'm not a sports fan, and I don't know how I ended up on this section on eBay, but I saw that it said San Francisco, and I love San Francisco um, for all the vintage things. 
so I just got it. I haven't used it either. Um, I actually put this up on my closet sale account at shireluna.closetsale if you're interested, or if you will be able to use this bag more than I will. I, yeah, I just haven't picked it up. I'm not sure why. It's a really good bag. So, and again, a nice conversation piece if you played football. I don't. I have no idea how to play the sport, so I don't know what I'm doing with this bag, but I just thought it looked really good and it's a nice size. Like that. I could probably wear that with um, like a white top and jeans, and this would be a nice pop of retro color. I can show you something that I got off eBay, uh, no, off Etsy. I think I've just been showing most of my um, eBay finds. Now I got this from Etsy in Canada. And this, I think, is the only bag out of all of the... No, the Doc Martens bag was a hundred something dollars. Yeah, that, that was the only bag over a hundred dollars. And this was also a hundred dollars Canadian, I think. Um, including shipping or not including shipping, I'm really sorry, I can't remember. But this took a while to arrive because it um, was sent out in March. So yeah, it was just stuck in the post offices for quite a while. But I'm happy I finally have it. And it's a shell bag from the 1970s, is what the seller said. Uh, I love these shell bags. They're not hard to find. If you just type in shell bag or vintage shell bag, um, you're gonna find a lot of these, but it's the color I really fell in love with. And my phone doesn't fit in here, so this is this was displayed on my dresser at some point. I always change like the stuff that's on my dresser, so for a good month this was just on my dresser. It's so retro and it's so nice. <laughs> now I'm going to be showing you my neutral bag. So I have, I only have four brown bags left and two black bags. I'm going to show the one I got in Perth. So this is a really good sturdy leather bag that I found in a swap meet in Perth. It's, it smells so good. It's vintage leather and I can't stop smelling it. Um, this was just on a table somewhere with another bag that I'm going to show later, but I talked about this a lot in my um, Perth thrift haul, so I'm not going to say too much about it anymore, but this is just great to carry around. It doesn't have a zip compartment, so it's pretty easy to get into, so I only bring this when I'm not around a lot of people or, um, well, you know what I mean, um, you just don't want people like accidentally putting their hands in there, so it just has a snap closure and it's very comfortable to wear and I also like, like getting sniffs of it when I'm walking like you can really smell the leather it's great quality leather this actually has a brand it says Lila Black Genuine Leather I'm not too familiar with that brand or designer but it really doesn't matter I love this bag it has compartments inside and I also like the brass hardware it's not flashy it just looks very practical um, another bag that I found in that same swap meet in Perth is this one. It's so, so nice. Um, this one I was afraid to buy because I thought it was going to be really, really pricey, but I think it was only 10 Australian dollars. And I was really shocked because I was expecting it to be way higher just because of the material. So this is cowhide and this is a great great grained leather. It has three compartments so it has this zippy thing inside and then um, the lining is like a micro suede and you know this is really old because it was sitting on a chair in the middle of the swap meet and like no one was taking notice of it. Um, so I'm just happy to have you. It holds a lot. Umbrella, water jug, clothes, sunglasses, multiple cell phones, chargers, um, everything fits in this bag. Um, I just want to stuff it, I just don't want to stuff it too much because um, these things might unravel. Um, so I might consider like getting these reinforced in the future. Another bag that I found in Australia, I enjoy thrifting there. We're, I mean, we used to go there twice a year um, and I would always extend my stay to go thrifting because thrifting is great in Australia. 
this bag uh, I got for $15 um, from an op shop and I, I think I got this bag because I lost a bid on eBay and the bag looked very similar to this. I'm not very competitive but I think you know if I bid just like a few dollars more I would have gotten that bag so this bag reminded me a lot of that but I'm more than happy I have this bag. It has great compartments. I'm a sucker for compartments so it has this slot here, it has this side and then it has this zippered part and then it has like even a pen slot over here and it even comes with like a little um, coin case um, which it's like a tooled leather and then you open it and you can put all sorts of I mean if you carry coins you can put your coins in here or I would probably put my SD cards in there it looks like a cookie or like a, one of those Chinese uh, like rice cakes so it's so cute and um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna remove the sticker because the leather is quite delicate and um, I'm afraid Goo Gone will damage it so the stickers are just here for now but I know I have to remove it soon because like the longer I leave it on the more it's probably gonna melt into the leather uh, and this isn't so bad I think it's just the other side that I'm gonna get to that after I film this video um, this one has a similar shape and this was... when did I get this? I think this is one of the more recent um, bags that I got um, from eBay it's eBay or Etsy anyway, I think this was from Etsy yeah, this is from Etsy and this um, bag is also from the 1960s you can see how worn it is so you can see all those marks over there and th the seller really puts like all the flaws I don't really consider them as flaws I like um, my bags used and inside is pretty structured and then you have this slot for your cards and I haven't used this in real life yet but I've used this in a shoot and it really gave off that retro look so really really happy to have this bag and I can't wait to use it um, in real life I feel like it's also going to carry a lot of things. I think my water jug is going to fit here. I keep saying my water jug like I drink a lot of water. I mean, I try to. Kids, drink your water. Like Mimi says, drink your water. Um, one more bag, and this has got to be my favorite bag of all time. Well, not... Hmm, should I say favorite? I think it's one of the most used bags in my entire collection. Um, whether it's from my Uke Uke bag collection, or if it's from my designer vintage designer bag collection, or from the vintage bags that I got abroad, this this gets the most use out of all the bags, and you can I don't know if you can tell, um, but um, there. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it wasn't like this when I bought it. So I got this at the same time I got that brown bag from the swap meet in Perth. And I use this mostly during shoots or when I have to run errands or do a quick grocery run. Uh, this was ten dollars. I hmm. I'm gonna have to review that video again, but I got a good deal because I got two bags from the same seller. And this is pure leather. It has no hardware, which is why I think I use it all the time because I don't have to think about my jewelry or um, the hardware on my other bags if I use this. Um, this one is a great crossbody, non-adjustable strap, but it falls at the perfect length. And then you, it has this nice stripe lining. It has a pocket in front. It has a zip compartment, and it has card slots. And I usually put my phone here um, whenever I shoot or if I have my camera around my neck. Um, this remains um, on my side. Uh, if you take a look at any of my behind the scenes photos, I normally have a crossbody bag with me. I just like having my phone and my wallet with me at all times. I don't put them in my pockets because I like go on the floor, I climb things, and I'm just scared uh, that my phones are gonna fall out so I just always have a crossbody bag just so it's safer. I also use a fanny pack um, but I just find that harder to use. Um, and the last bag is a plain bag and this one um, according to the seller uh, is from the 1970s and it's a leather 
bag that can be used as a clutch. You can just remove the strap and then just carry this under your arm. It's a great leather, but the problem is it marks really easily. So it certainly wasn't like this when I got it. Like there weren't any scratches, but um, even the lightest like touch um, marks the bag. So you have to be kind of uh, like careful with it. So you can carry it like this. I love the opening. But if I can open it, oh, it's open already. Uh, it has a really nice um, patterned lining. So it says they're made in Italy. And then you can also open the entire thing, like so. And it has one big pocket, another pocket, and then I usually put my cash in here. And yeah, that's it. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. Wow, I think we have gone through all or most of the vintage bags that I found abroad. Um, I guess, I mean, I think it gives you an idea of the kinds of bags I look for or what features I look for as a working photographer who's just always carrying lots of things and who's always on the go. So if you have a similar lifestyle, um, it, I guess you can try venturing into these vintage bags. Um, you can go to Etsy and some of them do ship directly to the Philippines. You just have to be ready for the taxes, <laughs> but that's really how it is. Um, I really find it so worth it um, to pay that extra bit to get bags that you won't really find anywhere else and that give so much character to whatever you're wearing and I just like looking at them I like inventing stories about their previous owners I think it just helps me so much with what I do as a photographer so yeah that's all I can say about these bags um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this was a good comeback video um, to make up for my absence if you want to visit any of my social media accounts um, I have seven Instagram accounts but you really only need to see my wardrobe account if you're if you're into clothes or also my tumblr because that's where I use my thrift finds I'm gonna link everything from my Facebook to my tumblr so I'm gonna link everything here and also down below um, just if you want to check that out and I do hope to make another video soon no promises it might take months it might take weeks it might be tomorrow but um, I'll be back soon thank you once again for staying and for watching um, I'll see you next time bye